Well, Brandon, when Martin Quesada wrote those tweets, he says he wasn't in senator mode. He was not politically correct. He was basically in shocked witness mode. He said he was working last night uh, on a Zoom call on his third floor of his home in Westgate when he heard several rounds of what he thought were shots. He said then the power instantly went out and he looked out his window. I saw people who were running as if they were scared for their lives, uh, but I saw others who were only walking casually as if they weren't sure what was happening. Then uh, I saw the shooter walking towards my window. Uh, I saw him. He was wearing a mask. He was carrying uh, his weapon. He was walking slowly and calmly, and uh, as I watched him, he appeared to be reloading his weapon. And at that point, he said he heard several more shots, and that is when he knew what was going down was real. And when he ran outside, he describes two victims lying in the street, crying out in pain. He saw a number of people terrified, some of them crying, everybody just stunned. And he said this all happened so quickly, like three to five minutes, that he will never forget. It, it was honestly terrifying. Um, it was a very emotional experience because, this, you know, this is something that I've, I've heard happens often in other communities. I always feared that this was something that was, was going to happen clo even closer to home. Well, you can hear the emotion in his voice there. He said he hasn't slept. He's still trying to process everything that's happened. His initial thoughts go out to all of the other families who are affected. And he says, ultimately, at some point, he hopes uh, this will prompt a thoughtful discussion on gun policy, uh, gun policy sometime down the road. Brandon? And you know what, Heather, uh, keep you here on the screen really quick. You know, it's so important for all of the people who were witnesses out there. They did suffer trauma last night. Mm -hmm. And my goodness, if you are one of those folks and you're watching this newscast right now, ask for help. Go talk to somebody about it. Do not internalize that trauma. It'll eventually come out sideways. Excellent point you're making there, Brandon. And he uh, he mentioned that very uh, subject in his interview. He said, uh, you know, it's going to take a long time to get over, if any, for him, let alone all of the folks out there. And everybody uh, we keep hearing from witnesses say that there were families out there. A lot of children were present yeah. at the time as well. So uh, a really important point.